Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com and today I have a partial craft room tour for you. I had a lot of questions on my previous craft room tour about where I got this piece of furniture and what I store in it, kind of what its story is. And so today I thought I'd give you a more in-depth look at all the goodies that are kept in this particular set of drawers. Um, this set is from a thrift store hunt that I went on. It has obviously been refinished um, previously from an auto shop where they kept their inventory um, and it even came with some bits and pieces of the cards that used to be kept in here. So um, let's take kind of a deeper dive. Let's go. Okay, here is another look at this card catalog. Like I said, it is originally from a thrift shop in Luckett's, Virginia, and the original purpose for it was in an auto shop. It kept inventory in an auto shop, and it even came with little vintage pieces, um, bits and pieces of what was in it when um, someone got it and refinished it. So the piece that I bought was actually just this top piece. Yes, it came painted already, and I added the labels in, and then my husband built this bottom piece for it to sit on because I knew I wanted it up off the ground and I needed it nice and slim. So he built that for me and that holds my planners and things in there. On top here is a desk organizer. I originally bought this for my December daily supplies this past December and it worked fantastic for that. And now I've repurposed it to hold the journals that I'm using on a regular basis. I love that it's clear. I love the combination of something really modern like a clear acrylic piece and then something more vintage like the card catalog. Okay, let's dive into what's in the drawers. We'll just start up here. First um, are my drawers of tabs. So I use a bunch of paperclip tabs in my journaling. These are all ribbon tabs. And then these are what I like to call designer tabs, which are just fancier paper clips that I have for different purposes. So I have those two right there. The next drawer is full of wooden embellishments. So I don't use wooden embellishments very much. But I do have a few here and there, so I have them all grouped together. Again, I like to keep them organized in smaller jewelry bags within the bins. That way it just keeps it um, from getting all mixed up. Next drawer is full of decorative brads. I've had some people ask where I got these. I think I got these in a big mixed pack at a scrapbook expo a long time ago, but I still use them uh, on projects now and again. This is my drawer of Happy Planner discs. So I have a lot of extra Happy Planner discs from previous planners. I keep them together in these little bags so that I can find the colors I'm looking for and then put them all back in. I'm kind of outgrowing this drawer, so I might have to expand this one over to the next drawer, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, next row is all about the glitter and the bling. So I have rhinestones in this drawer right here. Then we have confetti next to that little snug right here. That's how you know it's more authentic, I guess. So different confetti pieces in here. Again, you can keep them organized in little bags and boxes, things like that. And then I have three sets of glitter. So a ton of glitter all mixed in here. So fun to have them all organized. I like to keep my glitter upside down for the most part because then I can see what's in the bottom of those pieces. Tons and tons and tons of glitter. All right, the next row is a little bit of a hodgepodge. First, we have some different alpha. These are felt alpha pieces that I've used on a couple of larger projects. Clear packaging, I use these for a variety of reasons for mixed media, and then I use them to create shaker cards. So I keep some clear packaging on hand. Then we have some different alpha, some glitter alpha in here with my little divider between the two sets, gold and silver clothes pins and a variety of buttons sorted by color in these small bags. The last row on this side is all about my letter board. So we have larger letter board letters and then those were the vowels. These are the consonants and then these are all of the smaller size letters. 
and then two empty drawers that I can grow into in the future. The top row on this side is all about Felicity Jane. I have one empty box that I can grow into um, and then some Felicity Jane embellishments. So I have my journaling cards, my leftover journaling cards. I have the Felic Felicity Jane um, dimensional embellishments. So things that have a little bit more dimension to them are mixed in right here. These are Felicity Jane paper embellishments in here, extra envelopes, paper, tassels, things like that. And then Felicity Jane chipboard pieces that are left over from previous kits all in the last drawer. The next row is all about ephemera. So I keep some seasonal ephemera and specialty ephemera separate from the rest of my collection. I have my fall themed pieces right here. And then I also have some winter themed, including Christmas. Moving over to vintage ephemera. Some of it is actually vintage pieces, including the pieces that came here. But the rest is just a collection of things that I feel like have a more vintage feel. Then I have some leftover fabric bits from an Illustrated Faith kit that I like to use every now and then. And then journaling tippins. These are just larger pieces that I have used in Bible journaling in the past. So I keep them over here in case I'm reaching for a new tippin. All right, the next two rows I consider kind of like my quote sewing section, although I'm not really big on sewing, but these are things like string and fabric. So we have twine pieces right here, then some colored string in here. Then I have two different drawers of embroidery floss. These would be warm colors fitting in there and then cool colors. So it's kind of sorted. These are fabric scraps left over from those sets you can pick up like a Tuesday morning, just some fabric bits and pieces. And then starts all of my ribbon. So ribbon scraps in there. More this is all the trim, so dimensional trim. A little bit of tightness right there. Some more ribbon mixed in smaller spools right there. This is ribbon that I store on clothes pins so that it fits more easily in the drawer. And finally, I have a whole set of this polka dot uh, adhesive ribbon. So it actually has adhesive on the back that I can use for journaling. I hope you enjoyed that dive into this card catalog. It's certainly one of my favorite thrift store finds ever. And it is super helpful in my craft room as far as organizing and keeping things together. Just as a reminder, I do have a craft room course online now. It is all about creating and organizing your dream craft space. And we can work with any size space that you have. And I can take you through the step-by-step -step processes that help you envision and design a space that spurs on your creativity. If you want more information on that course, make sure to check out the link below. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you have a fabulous day. And as always, Keep it creative.